When you think of the film Inside Out, you probably think of her. My name is Riley Anderson. And her. Oh, did I wake you? And probably her. Well, you know, I thought maybe if you And maybe even it? But what if I tell you there's an even more important emotion that literally no one can survive without? The emotion that alone ensured Riley's survival and safety. The emotion that is more important than happiness herself, fear. Wait a minute, let me explain. Inside Out is a phenomenal movie released in 2015, back in the glory days of Pixar and Disney. Amazing characters, amazing plots, amazing animation, amazing music. For the kids that watched Inside Out growing up, the movie has even solidified itself into pop culture. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head? With a plethora of memes and such still circulating around to this day, nine years later. Most importantly, it is probably the best and only kids movie that delves so deep into our emotions. And for most children and many adults even, it was the turning point to better understanding our emotions. Life is full of difficulty. There's unexpected disappointment and loss and that is ultimately why all these emotions that we think of as kind of negative, they're actually helpful. They have a, a real purpose and a, a reason for existing. In the film, Joy is the main emotion in Riley's head and was the first one to pop up when she was born. She takes charge in most decisions and is sort of the leader of Riley's consciousness. However, the film does an excellent job at representing how important the other emotions are. The entire plot revolves around Joy accepting that sadness is just as important to Riley even if she is the complete opposite of everything Joy stands for. But neither Joy nor Sadness is the most important emotion portrayed in Inside Out. Fear is complicated. In all the cultures around the world, fear is seen as a negative emotion. Modern media has encompassed fear as synonymous with weakness, an evil trait that must come from evil itself. Cultures and religions around the world speak of fear and its origin as a wicked one. We were told to abolish fear and become fearless. However, slowly, we have come to realize that maybe being fearless isn't really possible and shouldn't be the end goal to begin with. Quoting Franklin Roosevelt, Nelson Mandela, Ned Stark, Yoda, Batman, and many others, courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the assessment that something else is more important than fear. But even with society's slow acceptance of it, fear is still not treated as an important emotion but one that humans are defected to possess and must overcome. To understand fear, we need to know what it really is and where it really comes from. The Oxford Dictionary defines fear as an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. It is a basic human emotion experienced in anticipation of potential threats. And this is extremely important for a number of reasons. This instinctual response is designed to protect us by prompting certain behaviors in our bodies and our brains. For example, it triggers the fight or flight response. Adrenaline pumps out and starts a training reaction. Increased heart rate and blood pressure enhances our body's muscles and vital organs to perform. Hyperventilation supplies more oxygen into our body and thus allows us to produce more energy. Stored energy is released and digestive processes are paused. Our muscles tense up, our pupils dilate, our ears sharpen, and our cognitive functions speed up. Without this intricate chain of processes catalyzed by fear, we would simply not survive. If you ain't scared of a croc biting you on the face, you ain't alive. The dodo bird, a large bird species that was native to Mount Ritius, Mauritius, an isolated island, is a prime example of what happens when certain fears are actually abolished. The time in paradise for millennia with no predators pushed evolution for the dodo to lose their instinctual fear of predators. When predators were introduced to the island, the dodos didn't even try to fight or fly. Its lack of fear brought about the dodos extinction, and the same would have happened to us. Fear allows us to not only survive, but also thrive and evolve cognitively. Many of our cognitive superiorities, such as decision making and long term planning, are significantly aided by fear. Although sometimes not as helpful, in most cases a little bit of fear makes us more cautious and better thinkers when it comes to making decisions. Humans have a massive advantage compared to other organisms because of our ability to assess and plan for future threats. 
If we never thought about the future, we would not be where we are right now. None of this would be possible without anticipating these potential threats, aka fear. But come on. Oxford still defines fear as an unpleasant emotion, so surely us being the intelligent humans are able to thrive even without this unpleasantness? Well, not really. There is a very rare genetic brain disease called the urbach with disease urbach syndrome that causes deformities in the amygdala, which controls emotions like fear. This results in a substantial reduction and often even the complete absence of fear. Besides the obvious consequences that you think of, such as running towards a tiger or pointing a gun at yourself, there are catastrophic social and emotional repercussions even if you do manage to survive using your logic skills alone. People with this disease misinterpret social cues and cannot understand nor avoid awkwardness. Thus, it is extremely hard for them to fit in. They are also very vulnerable to dangers in social contexts that they cannot comprehend because they lack that instinctual emotion. So basically, it is not such a good idea to actually become fearless. Inside Out has one of the best representations of fear in recent years. Instead of antagonizing the emotion like basically every story ever, Inside Out highlights its importance. Very good. Well, that's right, Perth. Ah, look out! That's fear. He's really good at keeping Riley safe. Fear keeps Riley alive, and everyone knows it and appreciates his efforts. His assessment of threats and dangers, not just physically but emotionally and socially, is what allows the other emotions to do their thing and strive in a safe environment. You can't get too angry, or else. Right after you eat this. You can't get too sad, or else. Everything just starts feeling. Inside Out operates at an even deeper level and explores the duality of our emotions, the good and the bad. Anger is actually very useful at times, to let off some steam, to be assertive, to stand up for yourself. But in the wrong context, it's extremely destructive. Sadness can drag a person down, often into irrecoverable spirals, but expressing sadness is crucial for processing loss and trauma as well as being a social cue for help to those around you. I came to help because of sadness. Well, I always feel like joy is something we all uh, want, right? We're all after, you go to the bookstore and there's tons of self-help books, finding your inner joy, and finding happiness and all this. And yet, even joy, when too dominant and flamboyant, starts to suppress the other emotions and can even result in a lack of empathy which was what happened with Bing Bong. Fear, whilst crucial for Riley's survival, becomes overwhelming when an excess of irrational fears build up, leading to anxiety and other major issues. When all you think about every day is potential threats, you don't really have the energy to do anything else productive or meaningful. Inside Out is one of the most important films in recent history that truly teaches young children, heck even full-grown adults, the importance of all our emotions. I emphasize all because negative emotions like sadness and fear are often overlooked and even suppressed. But negative emotions are important. In fact, fear is the driving force behind intelligent evolution on this planet. It is crucial for our decision making, cognitive planning, and social connections. I want you to watch the film again, but this time really focus on and appreciate just how important each and every emotion was to Riley's development. And trying not to sound way too cliche today, I'll leave you with a slightly different quote. Don't be afraid of being afraid. Our deepest fears are like dragons guarding our deepest treasure.